Welcome everybody to the six Chinese knowledge seekers workshop uh, brought to you by the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute and today once again we'll be speaking with Mr. Keshe of the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute and um, also with some members of the Chinese community who are um, showing us a special reactor that we see um, on the live stream now and uh, this is an underwater reactor so it's kind of interesting okay so without further ado let's um, move along and hear from Mr. Kesh to start with and uh, then we'll move into the uh, rest of the workshop Mr. Kesh are you available? Hello, yes, good morning, good afternoon, good evening as usual, wherever you Hi. are, welcome you. Uh, we hope to learn some more from our Chinese friends. They taught us a lot in the past and now we are back on the floor again with the Chinese teaching knowledge seekers. We hopefully will learn more in a, in a nicer way. Could you tell us what are the surprises you have today? Uh Rick, could you um, post the picture? He's got cylindrical reactors. Yes. That's uh, Yeah. Can you go up? Can you go up, please? Can you go up to the picture before? The other one before this. It's, is the hole inside a spherical or cylindrical? The core, the core inside the cylinder. Sorry, I didn't have my microphone go on. Go up, the I'll go down to There's the picture below. You want the picture on the well, bottom or the top? The, if you can close up into one of those brass or copper okay, coils sure. on the table. Yeah. We can show... We don't want a fish. I see Here, fish I know. Now. Here we go. So this is up. the good... Okay, it should come through there in a, a few seconds on the live stream with a close-up of those sphere, or er, I'm uh, sorry, cylinders. <laughs> Are they a cylinder inside or a spherical inside? They're a cylinder inside. And this is his main question is, um, it, will a cylinder work um, in the same way as a sphere or will it be a different um, arrangement? Um, how is the question actually? Let me just go to the question briefly here. And it's it's. I designed a cylinder reactor as below, so I want to ask a question: that is there any difference between the cylinder reactor and a spherical reactor about the effect on the experiment? That was his actual question. Not really. What happens? The plasma itself will make of its own sphere inside the inside the core, but um, it will be very small and compact because, um, in a way, you have a vacuum or you have a different kind of plasma above 
where the sphere of the plasma finishes inside it. Doesn't make any difference. Uh, we have tested the cylindrical cores some time ago. Um, it's just that how it's going to do it, if it's feeling it with the Gans, and how the Gans will, will rotate. It would have been nice if it was transparent and we could see the behavior. OK,啊,這個問題是這樣子的,就是說,這是孤島的問題,他說,我現在設計了這一套反應器,然後這個反應器呢,中間的我的這個反應器是圓柱形的,然後問開始先生這個圓柱形的跟球形的有什麼區別
can I ask a question if we can ask the the developer if he's made mm -hmm. a vacuum in the sphere because it's airtight, it's watertight has, has it got the possibility to create vacuum in the sphere, in the bigger sphere? Mm, I, uh, I'm not sure he is here online or not. Um, Jin Cao, can you ask him? Is he on the live stream? He can type in. Yeah. What's his uh, name? Oh, he's an uh, uh, Gu Dao. Gu Dao. King Chao. K I N C H O I. Uh, I don't know. He's. Oh, he's he another just, online. Somebody stream. just uh, come on, say hi. Tuck King Chao. On the live stream. Is that him? Good yeah, Gudao. Yeah, Gudao is the nickname. It's on the internet. The uh, is he the developer? A different person. Okay, thanks. Yeah, uh, so we need to know. We need to know if there is a possibility, then it'll be the first time we see the operation on the vacuum. Okay, so I'll, I'll ask him after the class. Okay, no problem. This is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love the way you Chinese work. You are yes. innovative and very much uh, totally new insight on the whole operation. Oh, he, he said, oh, um, I'm talking to him. He asked what is the question I, I'm asking him now. Um, can he make a vacuum in the sphere, the biggest sphere? Yeah. And then run his motor, uh, what do you call it, the course. We want to know, I want to know if he can create a vacuum, because it's in the water, it's watertight, it must be vacuum tight as well. With all those bolts on there, it surely would be mm. uh, vacuum tight. Yeah, uh, yeah, at least the water tight, so. Yeah. Just ask him, can he make it a vacuum? Can he test it for vacuum? And if he uh, used the he, he, he just uh, tried the it's a, a water cell, but he hasn't okay. tried the air, yeah, vacuum yet. So uh, it'll be nice to see <laughs> if the operation is different with the vacuum and with the air. Okay. And can you ask him what kind of gas is going to use? Okay. Um, you, 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 What are we waiting for? Is he typing? Uh, he, he's, he's typing, yeah. He, he what said, is he typing? Uh, he's typing in Chinese. Where I don't know where. Is Skype? Oh, how, can you, how can I you don't see know which, typing? I don't know which trunk, which window he opened. I just uh, a window pop up on my iPad. Which program he's in? I just saw the 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 chat. Oh, okay, it's uh, copper oxide. Copper oxide. Is it nano? Yeah. Is it going to nano code the cylinders? Um, uh, Jin Chao, could you ask him? Uh, 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 he go, uh, going to nano code the cylinders? 就是要把那个 
呃，反应器做内部涂层吗？呃，它要做涂层吗？是 typing。啊 ，his types、uh, yes。But why are we can't see him unless you have a different skin than we have? Ah,、uh, we I think、uh, we have some Chinese, a、uh, Chinese like a、uh, the chatting programs maybe, because、uh, I can see him on I don't know which program pop up the the window, the chatting window so. <laughs> mm, so, Mr. Kai, do you think it's better to have a nano coated inside? Is better if we have the oh,、uh, mm, it, it shouldn't be. It actually holds more of the field. What comes out will be homogeneous fields or above certain bandwidth of the plasmatic fields.、Mm -hmm. Because what it is,、um, your coating becomes your filter. Okay, and, I see. And then,、uh, and then after certain strength, when the layers get saturated, then they start、uh, releasing a specific. It becomes like、um, laser. Monofilter、okay. below, or become a filter from certain level up. Okay. So if we have a a reactor with a inside is nano coated, will be if we can we use that to、uh, attract the particles from the air for the、uh, smog? I we will teach this in the coming weeks regarding um, um, the regard air pollution. Regarding the air pollution,、uh, um, Sohel is here in end of the month. I'm、mm -hmm. going to explain to him how to make the systems that it can be commercialized in China.、Uh, we see in the system with the, what the, we had a discussion in the workshops with the Iranians nano materials. These materials will have a problem with them. But、uh, mm -hmm. on the other hand, is the development of the technology. What we will release in the coming time to the Keshe Foundation with Sohail,、mm, as a, it'll be,、um, it'll be a composite、uh, system.、Uh, because with it, we'll bring the jamming system too. Which means you can block certain bandwidth, which is magnetic field, gravitational field strength. Okay. Thank you. Um, 我刚才问凯是一个问题，我呃，因为刚才谈到这个，就是呃，要不要给这个柱形的反应器来做涂层？凯是说做涂层以后呢，这个呃，它的带宽可能会比较单一，这个磁场就比较均匀。我说呢，要这样的话，是不是我们可以用它来呃，用于这个做呃处理大气污染？凯是说呃，大概是要。就说过星几个星期会给我们讲解这方面的问题，然后呢，三月底的话呢，小浩会去意大利，这样呢，他会跟嗯小浩谈这个问题，会呃共同开发这个产品，然后呃作为这个空气污染的处理。The air pollution system cannot be run without jamming system, more or less, at this moment.、Uh, jamming, what's the jamming?、Uh, field protection systems. Oh, okay, I'll it's a, I'll jam something. Yeah, not the jam、okay. you eat.、Uh, I know <laughs> the traffic jam. Not the traffic jam, jam either. It's blocking system. <laughs> Okay, okay, it's blocking system. Ah,、uh, 然后呃，开始先生说，呃，这个空气污染处理呢，呃，是就说一定要跟这个就是一个 jamming system 一起联合起来用。然后
呃，开始后来开玩笑说，这个 jam 不是我们吃的这个果冻果酱，嗯、呃，然后我说那是呃，就是说交通堵塞的那个呃 jam 嘛，啊、呃，开始说也不是，他说是一种还是一种防御系统。Um, could I ask a question? Let me tell you something. A piece of maybe news to be in the in the coming months. We are testing system with one of the leading nations in submarines in respect to our technology.、Uh, I've been told.、Uh, It's no problem. So, one of these systems which we develop will be tested in marine condition, in a submarine condition, with one of the、um, top ten nations in the world. And then we see the first stages of the collaboration in underwater and above water systems. Uh, 呃，嗯，瑞克刚才说要问个问题，后来开始说他先说一个事情，啊、呃，说这个可能会成为一个就是比较，呃呃一个消息吧，一个就比较重要，说呃在下面嗯、呃、几天之内可能会跟一个世界上比较先进的国家要测试他们一个系统，啊、呃，就是这个，啊、呃、啊、呃、海里面就 submarine 的，就是海军的。啊，然后潜艇方面的这个就是做一个测试，然后这个就是说，呃呃，这第一次这种跟这个国家的这个合作。Part of this technology of the marine, which he is showing, and what partially Marco is developing here. Mm, it will be used、um, in the next steps for the situation in Fukushima. Ah, then this system, okay. Ah, ah, this system, then is basically, ah, Marco in this science, ah, he, ah, it is basically designed for design. Then this can be used for testing. Then, ah, it will 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 be used for testing. Okay, Rick, you have a question, right?、Uh, well, it might be a bit premature, but、um, Mr. Kesh, you just mentioned something that I I found、uh, interesting, which was、um, that essentially the jamming occurs with the cleanup of the air pollution. So does that、uh, sort of insinuate that we need to change the communication systems in order to clean the air properly? Most of the pollution in the air is not atomic. Most of the pollution in the air. Is you got to look at the totality, where gravitational magnetic field of the Earth keeps these materials floating at a certain position. Is the gravitational magnetic field of the Earth? Which dictates the layer, the thickness, and the thinness of the oxygen or nitrogen in the air. The same is with the submarine condition. It's the gravitational magnetic field of the Earth, which dictates the position of the gases in the environment of the upper atmosphere and in the water. So when you have a pollution, you don't look as a matter state. You have to look at it 
as we do with a copper uh, with um, CO2 as a GANS. And the same with these matters are in a uh, plasmatic gravitational field state. Then if you work in that field, somewhere down the line, you got to understand that all the radio frequencies, all the microwave frequencies used for communication are created by matter state. So, in the process of trying, let's say, to extract copper, electron vibration is the electron vibration of the copper. You can't, you don't have a transistor made of uh, plastic. All our communication systems, um, the bandwidth of, doesn't matter how you process it, is dependent on the strength of the vibration and the noise which matter-state metals can make. You cannot pass, even with the fiber optics, you have a bandwidth within the fiber optics. So, it's a matter-state. And, in the spectrum of the materials in the polluted areas like cities, whatever you have falls within the bandwidth of the plasma, plasmatic magnetic gravitational, magnetical gravitational field of a plasma. So, yes, you will interfere. There is no option, so you have to develop new technologies, new systems, on a different plasmatic magnetic field of strength, than the waves. Okay. The um, present communication system, once we start developing it, it becomes obsolete. First of all, it uses too much energy for transmission. Secondly, uh, the plasmatic systems will interfere with it. This is one of the reasons why um, no, no UFOs can be detected by the present radar systems. because radars are in a matter-state wavelength. Do you want to translate? Uh, yeah. Um Li 所以然后这个所有的这个等离子体的这个长就是说波段的话
Um, is there something else you want to say about that, Mr. Kesh? Part of the development of the technology will speak more in depth on Thursday. Is getting ready, preparing the man for encounters in a different direction and in a way what we see as a reactor shown by our Chinese colleagues is that man once start being able to use these systems will start see more life and interaction under the seas than over the waters. Because the advanced intelligence relied on the ignorance and lack of knowledge of the man to explore the deep seas. And has been a safe haven. So, with developing the system like Parkos and what we see here with our Chinese colleague, the, the time of the closeness of interaction becomes much closer. Okay. Uh Dunce 方向上就说维度上这些个高智能的就说存有吧就说会我们的跟他们的接触就会更接近以前的话呢就说在那里边他们就像是一个比较安全的期可能我们人类接触不到他们那么现在的话呢是说使我们这种就说更接近了所以可
based on gravitational magnetic field systems, was a warning given to some governments a few, two or three years ago. That this technology, as you're showing it in a different form, is in the hand of two or three nations at the moment. And uh, in so many ways, uh, you have opened the door as usual, and you Chinese are very good at it. And I said, I, I love when you bring things on the table. Uh, I thank you for your openness of knowledge and beauty of the way you do things. Uh, in so many ways, what you are showing now, even on the screen, was a very warning we gave to leading nations in attacking another nation, that their submarines will never, never merge. Um, carry on. OK,啊,开始接着解释说,啊,实际上就说在这个两三年前我们曾经啊给过一些个国家一个警告,就是我们可能这个啊发展这个水下系统可能会比空气系统更容易啊一些就是关于这种啊在水下的这个反应器系统
you have fish that we can see, it's a yellow, I think it's a small fish, flat fish. How they will change? If they grow differently, and how long you do it? How do they behave when the reactor is submerged, and when the reactor is not submerged? Because um, now you are the scientists who teach us, and we are here to learn. Um开始说,啊就是给这个实验人员的建议就是说,啊你呃最好做实验的时候呢可能隔每每天每两天要啊就是在相同的角度拍一拍照片和视频,嗯这样呢就可以啊给大家展示的时候就可以看到啊对周
我刚才问开始的下一个问题就是说这也是古岛问的说我小的时候眼睛是黑色的然后现在我的瞳孔颜色成了棕色的问开始为什么开始解释说这个和这个血液有关还有和你的这个场的这个相互作用也是有关系的说他说欧洲好多小孩可能生下来是蓝色的眼睛最后长大了两岁以后可能就会变说也会有这种情况哦呃 uh, uh, Mr. Kaj, uh, the said thank you for the Let question. me explain to you something in a, in a way. Mm, people which have a disease of what I call um, the nice people, um, the when they, um, when one character changes to another character, what you call in the present science, due to the lack of understanding of uh, science, as a schizophrenic, they can change the color of the eye, some of them, according to the personality which is presenting itself. Even the, the shape of the eye changes, according to the personality. Because one can see the green slightly different than the others. And the change of the color of the eye, um, you will see it now that you show the submarine system, is in a liquid water state uh, conformation development. Um, the, uh, for example, people with what I call the nice people, um, what uh, uh, one sees a slightly different shade of a black than the other, and one sees different kind of information totally than the other. Uh, and for that, sometimes with the people with, uh, with uh, two or three souls within their body, each one operates on the different light within the zone of the same eye. And when you look into their eyes, you see this color mixture. I have seen this in a number of occasions, especially uh, in, in, in the people who have two at least, or three personalities. Or three, not personality, but three beings in one body. The shape of the eye changes when a different character comes, the color of the eye changes, and when the other, part, what do you call it, person takes over, uh, the change, the shape of the eye changes, and the color changes, because with a different shape of the eye, um, creates a different pressure, which absorbs different light. Um. 还是又进一步给我们解释说 uh, 而且颜色呢也会变就是说而且就是说这个颜色跟形状都会随着这个是哪一个人而改变嗯还有说呃这个眼睛不同的颜色呢会反映出你看待这个世界会不同嗯就是差不多这些吧石头给补充一下我好像
啊、呃，从这个止痛带的这个说明书里面，我们看到了啊、呃、一个关键的词叫做啊、呃、梯度场，呃，就是第一个问题呢，就想啊、呃、问一下开始先生啊，有、呃、能不能对这个梯度场，呃，它如何发挥作用，它的一个概念做一个啊、呃、简要的解释。梯度场英文是什么 g u a r d i a n field. Guardian field.、Huh? Guardian field. Guardian field. 你问吧，我我这个问题我都没听懂。不是，就是，呃，我不知道怎么问大姐，你问比较好，就是加一个梯度场就好了。他说那个啊啊 ，great， 呃，就是 great 啊 ，OK 啊、uh, ，Miss Cash， this is a a question about the 啊、uh, pen pen pad. Uh, his his question was, uh, uh, when the the pain pad had a gradient field, and he is asking what the gradient field means, and how it formed in the pain pad. I think it's from the introduction. It says a a great. And gradient field. The field of strength on the skin is much um, stronger than, let's say, if you put it around your leg than the center. But at the same time, let's say in the center of your bone marrow, if you put it around, let's say, your leg or your upper leg, so the field of strength changes. You have a gradient. So, for the deeper muscles, the thicker muscles, you do not receive the same kind of fields. That's what it means.、Uh, Because these pads create both gravitational and magnetical fields at the same time. This is the、okay. first time we have had access to、uh, magraph systems in a way that it can inter interact with the body of the man. OK， 啊，呃，开始说，就说因为人的这个身体，这个啊、呃，就说这个场的话呢是不同的，就是皮肤可能最强，然后不同的地方是不一样的，所以他说有一个这个梯度场，嗯、呃，所以对不同的地方呢会有不呃需要不同的作用。I was told by Sohail talking to him a couple of days ago. That、uh, people who use it, for example, round their neck with a neck problem,、um, on the top end doesn't work. Or in some cases, if you have a disc damage, which this leads to the core to pain, these parts are not so effective on a disc damage. So your pain is to do with your disc, not with a, with a muscle or a tissue damage. The pain you have around your neck or your spinal cord is due to pressure of the bone or disc on your nerve. So they don't work because you you don't have a disc to be able to sub to take the pressure of more or less the bone or disc on the nerve which coming out of the spinal、uh, down into the organs. So the people who have a disc problem. They some will, might find、um, pain relief with this, but if you have a torn muscle or you have a disc damaged nerve,、uh, you'll find out because it's a physical damage, not the inflammation or pain due to electron or what you call it current flow of the plasmatic field in the body. You will not find、uh, help with this. So、uh, some people are trying this for a disc damage, and you'll find out it will take more than this to sort out the disc. But it might release for sometimes the pain, the inflammation around the nerve. 哦，啊，开始进一步解释这个止痛带。他说，有的人呢，呃，他说他刚刚跟索海奥前两天，嗯、呃，聊呃谈过这个事情，嗯、呃，说这个止痛带呢，可能对有些人的这个颈部或者啊、呃、脊椎的疼痛可能不会管用，因为这个呢，有可能是你的这个啊、呃，就是这个骨头的话是骨头的作用。他说 ，disc disc 就是一个盘嘛，这个之间的这种，啊、呃，说由于这种压力的作用，啊、呃，不是。
由于你神经这种通讯系统的这个啊不通畅而引起的疼痛，可能会不管用。啊、嗯。他说：“有的时候呢，也许会缓解一点你的就是神经的这个方面疼痛，但是呢，啊、呃，还是就说如果这这一类的，可能就说是不会管用的。”我再补充一点，就是呃，我我听到的是那个，呃，就是说这个止痛带对一些由于这个骨头方面的损伤造成的啊、呃、这些疼痛。啊，比如说这个颈部的，像这种键盘的损伤造成的对神经的压迫产生的这种疼痛呢，这个止痛带可能是没有什么效果，因为止痛带主要作用于这个，啊，如果是肌肉引起的疼痛呢是比较有效的，如果是骨头像这种类似物理损伤吧，比如说这个腰椎键盘突出，因为键盘的这个压迫造成的这神经痛，可能是没有什么效果的。OK。Any other thing you can show us to teach us, please?、Um, I've seen some well, picture of seeds、uh, and、uh, pots at the beginning. Um, oh, um, he didn't um prepare for this one. I don't think he is on online today. Um, yeah, Mister Yan. And may some other people may do it, but、uh, not this time. I think he mentioned that、um, it was too cold for growing right now, or, or something, right? Still in、uh, winter yeah. here.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask the next question? Ah, yes. Okay. Ah, 那么还有第二个关于止痛带的一个简短的问题，就是啊，关于这个止痛带能否对这个中风后遗呃，中风后康复有帮助，能否对这个男性的前列腺增生还有女性的乳腺增生有帮助？嗯，我都不会这个词儿哎，我都没准备，这些问题没给我。嗯、um, uh, ，the uh, another question is、uh, whether the pain pad will work work will work for the a、uh, stroke. Uh, uh, the re、uh, what's it called rehabilitation of the、uh, from the stroke or other type of like um uh, 乳腺增生不会说呀，还有什么词儿？还有一个病是什么？啊、uh, ，another type, another kind. Yeah, there is another question on the forum by Eric Carlson. It says,、um, "Does the pad help with broken rib pain?" Yes, it does. It depends how the rib is broken because、um, when the bone is broken, you got to understand the structure of the repair.、Uh, how the the bones do not fuse, but、uh, like.、Um, The skin is built up at the point of the fracture. The bleeding at the point of the fracture. So、uh, the sometimes yes they do because、uh, you have created the inflammation at the point of the breakage by by the ribs. And when you, for example, when it gets cold or warm, you you feel the pain in the ribs because I've got ten of them. But.、Uh, There are different ways to get the pain of the ribs reduced drastically than、uh, using the pads. Ah,、uh, 刚才一个问题是 Eric Klassen 问的，在 live stream， 他说，啊、呃，这个呃 pain， 就是说这个止痛带对于这个啊、呃，就是肋骨的骨折会不会也呃呃管用？啊、嗯，开始说这个，也许这个可能会管用的，因为你的这个呃骨折的话，会引起这个肌呃周围的这个肌肉，就是周围的这个组织的疼痛，啊、嗯，还有这个可能对这个骨折的恢复呢，也会呃起到好的作用，所以呢，在这方面可能会有效。If you had a stroke,、uh, and use it, and let us know. 
。OK， 嗯、呃，开始说，如果你要是有一个中风的话呢，那你要是你可以用一用，然后看看效果是什么样，然后让我们知道。Next question. Oh, the what was that called? Is uh, uh, the question they're asking is about a uh, hyperplasia, hyperplasia, but it's different part. Uh, have uh, like two type of uh hyperplasia. Uh, one is the prostate. Uh, the other is uh, um, a mammary gland. Hyperplasia. Ah,、uh, for this type of, they are not a pain. They don't. I don't think they are not painful. So I don't know whether. Oh,、uh, does it works for those two type of、um, hyperplasia? Isn't、don't know.、Right? Explain. Yeah, we don't. I cannot answer you a medical question in a way, but I can tell you.、Um, you. We got to be very diplomatic. <laughs>、um, uh, You have to. You you. It's um. It's something if、uh, you do in conjunction with the help of your doctors or uh, um, uh, your what they call your specialist, and let them monitor it if you use it, and tell them we are using it, and then let us know the result. We know the results, but.、Um, I prefer not to disclose, and、uh, let's see what what you bring on the table. Okay. Ah,、uh, 开始解释说说这个医学的问题呢。他说我不好给你们，嗯，直接的回答，还要比较就是，呃，等于要呃。策略一些，啊、呃，他说，如果你要是有，呃，医生呢一起，就是说你看这个病的话呢，你可以告诉他们你用这个东西，然后看看，呃，效果会怎么样。然后呢，你们可以跟，呃，就说跟我们说这个效果如何。啊、呃，他说呢，如果你们说，就说有些东西呢，我们知道结果，但是我们不好，呃，把这个公布，就是说，你们如果要是提出来的话。呃呃，然后看看效果如何。嗯，好的。呃呃，下一个下一个问题，呃，就是呃，有一位，呃呃，提出一个问题，就是关于这个氧元素，在太阳系及宇宙的大多数地方，呃，是少数几种。呃，最常见的磁性材料之一，啊、呃，那么请问，呃，这个呢是在开始先生在教学里面经常提到的，那么请问什么叫做磁性材料，跟其他材料有什么不同呢 ？Let me explain to you something which has been tested and is part of the operation of the foundation. Will announce sooner.、Um, as you know, this condition goes with the prostate too. As part of our research, there is some experiment running with this. It's not actually the part of the Keshe Foundation work, but now we merge it.、Um, that we there is there there is a huge result in reduction of、uh, prostate and the pressure of the prostate due to enlarged prostate.、Um, for those men who are not aware of it.、Um, Once you pass age of forty-five,、uh, fifty, due to very much like the muscle tissues of the stomach relaxes, the same thing happens with the prostate. And the prostate enlarges, and you can go even on the internet and 
uh, if we go for a ultrasonic scan, what they do like the, with the pregnant woman to see the, the child inside the womb. The same way they measure the size of your prostate and they give you a measurement and if you go on the chart, it tells you by what age, what size your prostate will be. And then if the, the large size increases, the, the size of the prostate increases behind certain limits, then it puts pressure on the blood systems and other things and then in the age 65, 70 or before that or whatever, leads to incompetence. So, uh, we are looking at this uh, very, is part of the development of the Keshe Foundation technology, but with a new, new insight. Okay. And we will release the knowledge as it comes available in the coming weeks.啊，开始解释说，解释说有一个东西呢，啊，就是说医疗上的这个，我们可能很快会公布，啊，就是这个呢，是由其他的这个医学啊机构来，呃，就是呃主持的这个研究，关于这个前列腺增生，啊，他说
呃呃，刚才就是呃石头问的这个问题，然后现在呢，我翻译了一下，然后开始给解释说，啊、呃，他说这个氧气呢，作为一个这个磁性材料呢，是在我们啊、呃，就是地球的这个整个这个环境里边，它是说啊、呃，它是作为一个像类似于胶水的东西，啊、呃，它可以把所有的东西就等于呃粘接在一起，所以呢。呃，就是我们说它这个磁，呃，氧，那具有这个磁性，嗯、呃，还有，啊、呃，其他的有点我没太听好啊，石头你再翻译一下，我刚才有点断，断断续续的。嗯，好的。那么，呃，好的。那刚才开始先生就是说啊，为什么？为什么说氧是一个磁性材料？是因为氧在我们所有的，包括身体的结构中，包括物质的结构中，它都是一个，呃，等于是一个中心的一个引引力，或者说一个像磁铁一样的东西，它把其他的元素呢，呃，或者是其他的场，或者是能量呢，就吸附在它的这个周围，所以它起到一个类似一个、呃、磁性材料，所以所以把这个氧元素。成为这个我们这个地球上或者是宇宙中比较常见的一个氧啊磁性材料。OK， 呃，可以问下一个问题。呃，那么我们有位呃这个月红，是呃好像是月红，没没事。有个有个朋友有个人问呢，这个。呃，关于人的这个情绪的监控，就是啊、呃，比如说愤怒，人处在愤怒的状态中呢，呃，会处在某一种的这种状态。那么，请问开始先生能否啊、呃、设计一个类似腕表或者是身上佩戴的一个小装置啊、呃，让他可以测量出自己的这些情绪，包括愤怒啊，然后啊、呃、做作为一种提醒，让自己马上察觉到。Um, the next question is uh, because a、uh, uh, human have uh, outside of uh, uh, emotions. Uh, sometimes uh, some emotion maybe like uh, maybe uh, dangerous is like、uh, ang. For example, is angry. So it's、uh, very negative.、Uh, whether we can、uh, develop a type of、um, like、uh, devices. Uh, like a, for example, like a, something like a watch or something, and can detect our emotion and then give our a warning or like a, a indication, so we can correct our behavior. Yes, you can. So、But、it's like the same as the、uh, detection about the、uh, uh, gravitational, the magnetic fields, something like that. When the emotion does not match the physicality, the result is anger. That is when the gravitational magnetic field of what is in the blood. Which is the emotional part does not match up with the behavior of physicality. It's like a car crash. We call it anger. You can predict in a short distance or near to the time the disposition. So you can predict it. But don't forget, anger is an instantaneous thing. So you, you, it's not going to give you weeks and days in advance warning. But at that point, can、um, if you are well versed、um, in these things, understand these things, you can detect yourself. When the physicality doesn't happen with the emotion, because the emotion is what we call. Don't forget, your emotion is connected to your soul. So, when the soul is aware of something, which physicality wants to do, 
and they don't match, it leads to the angering behavior. Do you want to translate this and then I'll carry on? Uh, okay, I'll translate it first. Um, uh, 开始解释说, uh, 就是这个愤怒呢, 是来源于当我们的这个情感和我们的这个, uh, 物理上, 这个不匹配的时候, 就是像我们来个出交通事故一样，那么这个时候是发生的啊。但是呢，这个愤怒呢，是一个这种啊，即时性的，就是发生的。他说啊，你可以探在这个之前一点点的时间可以预测到啊，但是呢，这个是一个基
一个是，就是说别人呃告诉你什么事情，然后你觉得不应该，呃，你的灵魂上不应该做，但是你耳朵听到的是这样，说发生矛盾。还有一种呢，是你自己的呃灵魂的期望跟你的这个身物质的这个身体的呃，就是说不吻合。他说呢，实际上呢，我们是可以自己在这方面可以，啊、呃，呃，就说做工作，你可以，啊、呃，就说灵魂上边，你可以，呃，应该能预知到你自己会有这种愤怒发生，就这种碰撞，啊、呃，所以呢，你会，呃，如果问，呃，自己问为什么会有这种情况或者原因是什么，然后你就会。调整两个来相辅，这样呢就会，呃，应该可以避免这种，啊、呃、碰撞的发生啊、呃。石头，你再补充一下吧，因为太多了，有点落下了。哦，我暂时没有补充，可以问下一个问题吗？还是继续？嗯、呃、嗯、呃，可以。OK， Mr. Cash。So。Okay, we only have a few minutes left in the、uh, in the workshop here before we launch into the health workshop. I there is a question here. I read it is from Jenna Lim. He says, "When you when you are angry, your throat is so painful." Go back to the teaching of the tongue last week. That the tongue is part of the emotional part of your being. And partially carries the physicality together. So, one is trying to emotional part of the tongue is trying to dictate the physical part、uh, to do things, and then that there is a clash directly in between the two in a, in an organ. You feel it in your heart. You feel the anger because these tongue and heart are the organs. Which shared and operate to give information, receive information, both for emotionality and physicality. And when the two don't match, the point of contact is at like a fuel. It's the heart. It's the fuel. It's the tongue. 嗯、uh, ，开始刚才说，在这个就是呃，这个板子上面呃，读到一个问题，问说啊、呃，为什么我我就是说愤怒的时候，我会感觉到我的喉咙会痛？啊、呃，开始说这个回答，我们上一周的这个啊、呃、健康教学，他说我们的这个舌头是我们这个情感部分的一部分啊、呃，还有呢，我们身体还有其他的，还有一个心脏这两个部分呢，都是跟我们的这个情感。啊，相联系在一起的，所以呢，当这个两部分情感和我们的物质这个身体部分啊，这种如果有冲撞的话，就是会发生在这些个地方会有冲撞，所以我们会呃身体感到呃感受到这个呃就是这种不适。嗯，我们现在只有五分钟了 ，We only have five minutes left. Doesn't matter. Let me explain something to add to the knowledge. <clears throat> um, one of the biggest point of the clash when the physicality、uh, does not work with、um, emotion, which leads to misfunction, is asthma. All the asthma attacks, which are not environmental based, which happens usually with children and even adults, is when the information which is through the blood, which goes through the lung. Does not match the physicality of the information, and this leads to asthma attack. Okay. Um. 开始说我现在 ninety. Sorry, brother. Ninety-nine percent of the asthma attacks, which are not environmental dependent, are psychosomatic. Due to the anger, the 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 outburst of the anger is stop being shouting. It affects the connection between the lung, between the emotional part and physical part of the lung, and leads to a, what you call an asthma attack. And that's why people with asthma attack forever are on, on pumps. But if you go to the emotional part and sort the emotional part, they can walk away with no asthma for rest of their life. And the Keshe Foundation is extremely good in this. If you have an asthma condition, which is a interaction between the physicality and、um, emotional part, 
we have system and technologies which brings you to the point to understand where the anger sits and you can walk away, you never even look for an asthma pump. We are very good at it and at the same time, Caroline has developed the technology which is submitted, as we said before, to the South Manchester Health Hospital for this purpose, especially for children with a heavy asthma, which they cannot express their emotions because of their small in features. The physicality cannot adjust the emotional attack, then they get asthma attacks. And she has developed a techn simple technology that uh, children can can walk away with never touching the asthma pump. Okay. Uh, uh开始这个时候说我给你们一个新的就是说增加点这个知识啊就是关于啊这个哮喘有的是有幼儿哮喘有的时候就是说可能啊大人也会发生这种情况就是当你的情感部分和你的这个物质部分就是完全不拼
and this is beautiful to see how you expand the knowledge. Okay. Uh, thank you to Mr. Cash. Uh, Cash, you. 先生刚才跟我们说说感谢我们说非常啊， uh, 对我们就是中国网络教学非常啊， uh, 就是感觉特别好，就是可以学到很多东西。然后我们今天的课程就到这里结束了。啊、uh, ，谢谢大家的参与。Uh, thank you, Mr. Cash. Thank you, uh, Rick, and uh, thank you, everybody, for attending this uh, workshop. Thank you to um, Luxon for translating and can so I, on, and to all the people. Can I can mm -hmm. I ask a question? Because we raised this in the call meeting as well. Now that we have our Chinese. Okay. We would like to ask the Chinese community through uh, placing Chinese um, speaking uh, individuals in the uh, institute in Italy to start planning for the Keshe Foundation Institute in China. That Chinese do not need to come to Europe to be taught, but we start a teaching institute in China directly as part of the teaching with having Chinese students here that they can teach back into the into the Chinese community and establish the Chinese Institute for teaching. Okay. 那开始说，就说能希望我们有一个就是。呃，说中文的这种教学，这样的话呢，我们可以在中国内，呃，可以中国，呃，就是用中文语言来对我们的这个进行教学，就是不一定非得要去意大利，呃，说希望我们能够建立一个这种学院。And we are planning for live three-dimensional presentation. If you can do it in China, that the classes go simultaneously with Italy. So, you can be taught simultaneously as the lectures happen in Italy, course by course, class by class. Ah, so if we can establish this in China, ah, establish this kind of teaching, if the teaching is on the online with Italy, ah, is completely connected, then we can ah, simultaneously do this. So, all the lectures in our side can be seen, and our teaching can also be displayed on that side. I know these kind of teaching, live sessions uh, through one university taught and other universities around China follow, uh, is done. I was shown this by the physician of the Chinese president uh, some years ago when I was there, that when he was doing an operation in the operating room in the university, it was live shown across to the other operating rooms in the medical hospitals around China, that they all learn together. So. I know you are used to, your scientists are used to these kind of processes, and so we, we have the facility to do it. If you can establish a Chinese Cash Foundation as an institute teaching in China, then you don't need to come out, you can stay in your country and be taught at the same level uh, as we do here. 啊，开始先生继续说说，如呃几年之前他访问中国的时候，他知道啊，我呃就说呃中国的就是医生做手术的话，啊可以其他医院也同时能够看到，所以说呢，啊我说我们中国可能应该比呃就说对这个比较这个科技比较熟悉，这样如果我们能够在中国建立一个这个学院教室的话，就可以同时呃呃就说跟嗯欧。呃，意大利就是有同等程度的，就是教学，这样呢，我们中国人也不用去意大利了。Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you indeed. Thanks for your time, Lisa. Ah,、uh, no problem. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. So we、we'll、see you、Thank、in the you. next teaching. Yeah. Thank you. Thank indeed. you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Okay, thank, oh. thanks all. Let's、uh, wrap it up here, I guess. And that's the end of the sixth Chinese Knowledge Seekers Workshop. Thanks especially to all the Chinese participants today. It was great.、Um, and to Mr. Kesh and to all the production crew and to everyone everywhere. Thank you for attending.
You want to say something to end, uh, Lisa? Or uh, um, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Thank you too. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you.